Hello, this is Graceful Solutions. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a cool tip on how to resize your images using a free software. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. So for this tutorial, we'll be using a software called Paint, okay? Microsoft Paint, and it comes with every Windows operating system. So um, to navigate to this software on your computer, that is, of course, you must be using a Windows PC. You hit the Windows button and type, okay? You hit the Windows button and type Paint, and then you click, okay? So this is our, okay? So this is how um, our Microsoft Paint software looks like. It has tons of features, okay? You can um, draw shapes. You have, it has color brushes, amongst others. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use this software to resize our images all right so to resize your images okay you click home okay first of all we have to import the image you want to use in um, to use okay for this tutorial so to do that you go to file then click open okay and then you navigate to your computer where you have um, the, the folder the image or the file installed or located okay um all right i think this is cool first of all let's check out the size of the image we want to use okay um okay this is and this let's check the size of this image okay we go to properties as you can see this image is about um 3.16 megabytes and the dimension is 4,465 pixels by 2,976 pixels. So it's a pretty large image, all right? But we're going to reduce this image to a pretty small size, all right? So um, we click open to open in our, to import the file in our Microsoft Paint. All right, so as you can see, this is the image. You can, of course, zoom in and zoom out. Okay, you can use the zoom in, uh, zoom in and zoom out buttons to view the complete image, okay? Now, as you can see here, the size of this image is 3.2 megabytes, and this is the dimension in pixels. So to, to resize our image, okay, you go to home, and then you click resize, all right? Now, you can resize your images in two ways, okay? Either use the percentage option or the pixel option. Now, for the percentage option, it's uh, pretty straightforward, okay? Ensure you have your, um, okay, your maintain aspect ratio option checked so that you have a balanced image uh, or else if it's not checked your image is going to be skewed all right so you leave here checked and then uh, you can reduce your images by percentage so let's say i want to reduce this image by let's say 20 percent so i click i just type in 20. now one of one other advantages of having your um maintain aspect ratio checked is that okay if you type a value in your horizontal or vertical the artificial intelligence feature of this software would automatically assign a value that is appropriate enough to have a balanced image all right so for example um if i want to reduce this image by let's say 50 percent once i type 50 in the horizontal it would be the same value will be automatically generated in the vertical option all right so as you can see it says 50 horizontal 50 vertical so i click ok all right so as you can see the dimension has reduced a bit, even the size, okay? We have successfully reduced our image by 50%. So I can undo this and I, re I repeat the process. Say I want to resize this image by 20%. So I put in 20 and then I click OK. All right, so as you can see, we have successfully resized our image by 20%, all right? So we can undo that by hitting Ctrl Z on our keyboard and go back to home, resize. Now let's reduce this by pixel. Now, for pixels okay the advantage of using pixels is that there are some websites that um, require a specific dimension of images for example blogs uh, maybe you you have a blog or you want to design maybe a facebook header or a youtube banner or something these these um, platforms have specific dimensions for the images okay so that's where we use the pixel option all right so for example as you can see this is the original dimension of this image 4,464 pixels by 2,976 pixels right so I like I said you can of course leave your maintain aspect ratio option checked okay so if I want to reduce this um, um, image by let's just I, I have a specific dimension of let's say 2,000 pixels okay now because this 
aspect ratio option is checked it will automatically generate a figure that matches the figure i typed you know in the horizontal option so i just click ok all right so as you can see i have reduced the image okay and the size is 2000 by 1033 pixels all right so i can do that or i can undo that rather and for example i go to resize again hit the pixel option and let's say i want to reduce it to um let's say 140 pixels or let's say 500 pixels by 500 pixels now if i type in 500 here as you can see because the aspect ratio option is checked i can't put a value i can't put the 500 yet okay because it is automatically generated now to solve this problem i just uncheck my maintain aspect ratio and then i click i can type whatever number i want to type in here so 500 by 500 or uh, 500 by 700 or um 300 by 500 and i click ok okay but like i said like one of the disadvantages of leaving the aspect ratio option on check is that your image will be distorted or skewed all right so I can, I can undo that and i go again and hit resize pixels i can say 140 pixels okay i uncheck that by 140 pixels click okay all right so as you can see we have reduced and um, this image and of course here it says 140 pixels by 140 pixels which was the dimension we just inputted a while ago so i'm sure you had value from this video um if you did please give the video a like and share the video with your friends and of course subscribe to my channel for more graphic design and internet tips and tricks so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe